Hey guys, what's up? This is Apple Investigator here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite Mac applications that I currently run on my Mac Mini. So I'm running OS X Mountain Lion on here, and I'm going to show you guys some of the apps that I use on a regular basis and some of the ones that I recommend uh, for you guys to download as well. So the first thing that I highly recommend is Final Cut Pro. If you guys are going to be doing any type of video editing, this is definitely the program that you need to have. There's so many different effects. You've got all your events on the side here. You can do so much with this program. It's extremely powerful and it is definitely my favorite app for video editing. I've tried out a variety of different apps and uh, after all the testing, this one is definitely by far the best. Next thing in my dock is Air Parrot, and although I don't need it anymore, I used to need it, and basically it's for people who have a Mac but are not compatible with AirPlay integrated into their system. So basically, you got this little Parrot thing up here, and if you've got an Apple TV nearby, you can connect to it and mirror the display from your monitor to your Apple TV, and it's really cool. It's uh, it's $9.99, um, but... Uh, you can do some really cool stuff with this as well uh, if you don't have access to AirPlay on your Mac. The next thing that I highly recommend is Memory Clean. So basically what this allows you to do is free up some uh, system memory that is stored in your cache. So as you guys can see it says, I've got 16 gigs in here, but um, it basically you just say clean memory and it cleans up your system, makes it run a lot uh, faster than it currently is running. The next app that I really like and is good for students, a lot of, I know a lot of you guys watching are students, is iStudies Pro. And basic, oops, iStudies Pro is in my trash. Let me get that out of there. Basically what it allows you to do is keep track of all your courses and all your assignments that you have going on. So if I launch this, you guys can see all the stuff I have going on. I've got my planner here with my courses. And then I've also got an overview here with a calendar, the time of my classes, and some other stuff on my calendar. So this is a great app for staying organized and on top of your schoolwork, as it is very important, obviously. And another app here you guys might know about is called Transmission. So basically this runs all of your BitTorrent uh, stuff that you're downloading. So if, you, if you're getting it from uTorrent or something like that, Transmission. Um, allows you to download all of these files. Next up is Evernote and basically this is a awesome app for cloud uh, notes. So if I do a note on my iPod 5th gen and I want to get it on my Mac I can. I can add, I can do notes like uh, I can do video notes uh, or audio notes and stuff like that and you can access your notes anywhere which is great and it's just a great app for uh, if you've got an idea and you want to write something down. I like it better than the uh, Notes app that Apple has. This app, this is one of the best video converters for Mac. It's called Any Video Converter. It's a free app in the Mac App Store, I believe. And basically, you can convert any type of file. So you've got, like, really anything you can think of here. All the Apple formats, Android, uh, PS3... Flash, Windows, everything. Common file formats. You can you can convert a video uh, from one file to another. Extremely easy, and it's a great app. I really recommend getting this. And the last app I'm going to show you guys is called Reflection. And basically, this allows you to mirror the screen on your uh, iOS device to your Mac. So let's see up here. So basically, Reflection is running and say I grab my iPad mini and basically all you have to do is get into putting this thing into um, AirPlay and basically what I can do is mirror my iPad so this is an extremely awesome app and as you guys can see it works extremely well uh, everything's really fast and smooth and it's just a great app so I highly recommend getting uh, reflection if you don't have it. So guys that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys liked some of the apps I showed you guys please leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up down below if you did enjoy the video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. 
you want to see more content from Apple Investigator in the near future. So guys, that's it. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.